Tanya Hart, nice to Hi, meet Tanya. you. Hi Tanya, how are you? American Urban Radio Networks and Online and Black Tree Media. Yeah. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. This year, I mean, I've been doing this for a long time out here. This year, the documentary categories are amazing. Yep. So you've got a lot of competition, I don't need to tell you. But what is it about this story that has just been so compelling? And I saw your work, so I mean, it's, it's amazing. But what is it about this story? Well, I mean, I don't know, it's this story. It's a story of, of us. It's a story about our country. It's a story about this city. It's, it's about race. It's about class. It's about gender. It's about celebrity. It's about everything that sort of touches everyone in this country on a daily basis. So in that way, that's why it is still engaging to people 20 years after the murder and the trial. But this is a story that started before then as we try to, you know, convey in the film and kept going afterwards. And so for me, there's no, there's, there's a reason why people are responding to it because it's about the here and now as much as it's about the past. Carolyn, the fact that he might actually be paroled this summer, I mean, I'm sure you guys have been thinking about that. What, what, what are your thoughts on that? I, I don't really know. I mean, I, I don't know much more than you do that, that he's up for parole. Um, I mean, uh, <laughs> you know, this is a film we spent two years on and have spent the last few months, you know, trying to get it out into the world and. Uh, so I don't know, I think we're sort of <laughs> ready, you know, we're, I think we, we, we stopped thinking about all the exact uh, details of jail time and things like that. Um, but, you know, obviously it'll be in a, it's a different world that uh, he's coming back out into if that happens in terms of just the media we, we, landscape. We, we were documenting OJ's past, we're not as worried about his future. Well, that's, yeah, I mean, you really can't, exactly. And what you said, this is a broader story. Looking at this story today and looking at where we are in America today with this new administration, where do those two things collide? Uh, well, I mean, look, I think that uh, you can find a lot of things in this story that speaks to where we have, found, where we find ourselves today. You know, whether it's about a, a story in, in, that we just told about a guy who, has narcissistic tendencies, sociopathic tendencies, maybe in some ways that, and the way that we treated him and gave him a pass for all these years, and still even after the fact that he was on trial for murder and was found responsible in a civil trial, we still want to hug him. We still want to spend time with him. We still want his autograph by dint of his fame. And I think when we think of the rise of Trump, you know, and how did he come to be and how did we get in this position, I think there are similar sort of, there are similar points to sort of look at. And so in that way, you know, we, we have to look at ourselves to sort of see how these characters get created. And I think that, look, the story is relevant because it's about today as it is about the, the 50 years before and the story we're telling. So how it directly connects. And the connect title of the film is Made in America. So I think it's also a bar about our role uh, and how complicit we are all in sort of creating these characters. Good luck tonight. Thank you very it's much. It's a 